All right, fifth grade, welcome to Poem in Your Pocket Day. It is good to see you this morning, and we're each going to have a chance to come up to the microphone if you would like and share an original or a favorite poem. A reminder that if you have a poem that's written by someone else and you know the author, make sure you say the author's name. If you're not sure, you can just say this is by someone else um, so that we know it's not an original poem. Remember, we celebrate each poem with snacks or quiet claps, and we'll record this so that we can watch it back later or your family can watch it um, if they're not able to watch live. Yes. What is that? That's this year's National Poetry Month poster. Uh, so yeah, so you can interpret it how you wish, right? Each person that looks at it might might notice something different or interpret it in a different way, just like just like any piece of art you look at. All right, I'm going to get us started off with a pocket poem, and this is by Bobby Katz. With a poem in your pocket and a pocket in your pants, you can rock with new rhythms, you can skip, you can dance. And wherever you go and whatever you do, that poem in your pocket is going there too. You could misplace your homework, you could lose your left shoe, but that poem in your pocket will be part of you. And nothing can take it and nothing can break it. That poem in your pocket becomes part of you. <clears throat> And do we have an order missing or are we just gonna we do not we're no. just gonna go yeah <laughs> all right do we just want to start at the front or just as people feel like it's their turn i guess as people feel like it's their turn <laughs> okay i have an idea to adapt you go first all right perfect and you can raise this up or down if you need to Lies and excuses. I can't go to school today. I really, really can't because I have to water my huge red banana plant. I won't go to school today. I really, really won't because I have to fix my unicorn car and its stupid broken remote. I cannot go to school today. I'm as croaky as a toad and I need to diffuse my loop that in an hour might explode. I will not go to school today. It's something I won't do because I have to feed my bear who hasn't learned to chew. I'm not going to school today because I am very ill. I came down with a case of cock doodle bill Fine, I'll go to school today. I actually will. Huh? What's a red banana plant? I don't have the unit of my car. No, I never owned a no nuke or any weapon at all. I would never own a bear. And I don't have cock a doodle bill And then I realized that it exposed my life. And from here, it went downhill. I couldn't remember my own excuses. They stretched beyond my wits. So you can stop the line. Let's hope all the liars believe this. It's just that thing, that thing that makes it seem as if you can do nothing. You can't kick that ball, you can't win that game, you just can't do it right at all. It can come on a normal day, or maybe you're trying to go to sleep, or read the directions and go the right way. Maybe you're trying to ace that test, or maybe you're trying to do it best. But whatever it is that you're trying to do, that thing, the thing that makes it seem as if you can do nothing, you can't kick that ball, you can't win that game, you can't seem to do it right at all. You may want to keep trying, or maybe you don't. If it's even in your head, just like a cheerleading camp. All that comes out of your mouth is, I can't. But you can. Yes, you can. Believe in yourself. I know you can do it. Even if you don't believe, what will happen then? Well, you won't hit that ball. You won't win that game. The I can't thing will keep coming and coming over and over again and again. So if you want this, it to stop, then maybe try harder. Tell yourself that you can. The thing maybe won't stop. It might keep coming back. But try and gain the confidence you lack. Tell yourself that you're capable. Remember, the thing is escapable. And if you believe, tell yourself that you can. If you say, this ball will fly, or I'll try to win this game, or I can't do it all, but I can do this, or maybe, and school will excel, then you won't just do it, you'll do it well. 
So say that you can each and every day when you're walking through town or when trouble comes your way. Just say, I can. And even if you're scared, I know you'll do it anyway. You can. Green pigs like to eat, and I like to eat your piggy treat. Green pigs like to eat cucumbers just as much as they like to separate slumber. They like carrots, but they don't like to share them with carrots, nor carrots. And nothing sounds as nice as spice fruit, which no guinea pig will dispute. When you show a guinea pig hair, it will nail your way. They like lettuce, which they grow in a trellis. And every guinea pig is heckled because the latest thing is go heckled. Guinea pigs love sweet potatoes and sweet potatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes. Grow some kale and guinea pigs will not fail to eat all your kale. Guinea pigs like pellets, which they, which they specially develop and sometimes swallowed up by water. So they need help to be held up. But their stomach will have to pay the price if they eat too much, which won't be very nice. I'm going to read a poem by an anonymous person in our class. So basketball is different from other sports, different courts, different shorts. You throw a ball into a hole, you do it again, you get in a zone. You miss, don't moan, try again. Dribble it, pass it, put it in the basket. You throw, you grow, you start to flow. You run, it's fun, try. If you fail, don't cry. Keep trying, stop crying. Basketball is the best sport of them all. Get a ball, crawl, before you walk, just try. Basketball. I thought you needed those punches. <laughs> do more for the team because that when well, my name is called do more for the team because the extra always matters. Respect is not given, it never shared or a flag. God to put in work because all of the best ground to always hunt. Stay home until it's time. Doing right every day always allows more assistance. We study it, just not in. Now it comes to our test time. We are in mindset that we will. Thank you all. I swear I'll be there, be there when my name is called. I don't know who this is. It's the, it's the time of the year. It's the time of the year. Football season is here. One of the best moment, moments. Best time of the year. Half times are awesome. Commercials. Commercials are good, but the main event is what is is what is a shape. Run a little faster, don't drop that ball. Football is my favorite, my favorite most of all. Sprouts are gross. Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts are quite disgusting food. It may be good, it may be good for you, but I think the opposite. 
So come on, my dude. Join the Brussels sprout hate clan. I will make a plan. Just think, they are bad with steak and bad with cake. Your dad may like them, but that just makes me mad. Studies show that if we lower the Brussels sprout scale by just a tad, humans are uh, 1% less likely to get eaten by a shark as well. Soon my plan will spark and everyone will hate Brussels sprouts. But that's just my turn. Do you like Brussels sprouts? Tell me. Tell me. No. 